and welcome to another instrument choice support video. In this video we will show you how to prepare a soil slurry to measure the pH. But first, why measure the pH of soil? Soil pH can have an impact on a plant's nutrient uptake. If you want healthy, vibrant plants and crops, it's vital to check the pH of the soil. There are two main methods for sampling soil pH. These are the direct ground measurement and the soil slurry method. Direct ground measurement. This method is sampling pH directly from the ground, sometimes using a small amount of water to help soften the soil. The direct ground measurement can be used with a conical or spear tip electrode that is tough enough to penetrate soil or in softer and moist soils. The soil slurry method. A standard soil slurry is a mix of two parts water to one part soil. The following soil slurry method can be used to perform pH, EC and TDS readings. If the soil slurry preparation is performed incorrectly or inconsistently, this could lead to poor soil nutrition. The soil slurry measurement can be used with a standard type pH electrode or where there are harder soils or soils containing a high amount of debris such as sticks or stones. To make the soil slurry you will need a scale to measure the soil, the soil sample, a clean container, a spoon to measure and mix, a measuring cup and some distilled water. As you can see here we have pre-measured out 100 mils. First, take the empty container and tear the scale. Then weigh out the soil. We have our two parts water at 100 ml, so we will need one part soil equaling 50 grams. Once the soil is weighed out, add the distilled water and mix thoroughly. Wait 15 minutes for the soil to settle before taking a measurement. This will give more accurate results. Once 15 minutes has passed, it's time to take the measurement. At this stage, it's normal to see some separation between the water and the soil occur. Place the electrode into the center of the sample and wait for a stable reading. For plants, the ideal pH range is between 5.5 to 7.5 although some plants do thrive outside of this range. Remember to thoroughly rinse your electrode after use and store back in its protective cap. If the electrode is particularly dirty, you might need to soak it in some cleaning solution. We hope that you found this video on soil preparation helpful. Thanks for watching.